Welcome back, Grifters, to the land of grifting. We're doing a special run today. I just wanted to start the episode here by pointing out that the next update is already in one week and four days. I feel like we just got one, but it's coming up soon again, so we probably will only be able to squeeze in one run here and in between. But that's fine, we'll go ahead and do that. Today we have a very special run, as I said. We are gonna go and check perks first. I already unlocked some, so I have unlocked some tier 3 ones. We have the Benefits 3, Good Health 3, Handy, which gives all items an additional use, Resolute 3, which is extra maximum resolve, and Unencumbered, an additional graft slot of each type. And so I, in the previous series, I challenged all of you to give me suggestions for a mutator run, and Francisco Covito, our loyal uh, follower, uh, has chosen to give me a challenging set in here. That I think I forgot to add the battle bundle. Oh, you can't have both the battle bundle and the Havarian Morgan, that's why it keeps turning off. I see. Hmm. Interesting. I think he would prefer the Havarian Mulligan, but that's a guess in the dark. And then, let's see, I'll go through them all here. I guess some of them are exclusive to each other, that does make sense. So we have the Brilliance modifier, which makes all XP, uh, all cards cost half the amount of the normal XP. We have the Contaminated Equipment, which is every graph you install gives you Exhaustion and Mental Block. So a pure downside, this one is a benefit of course. So uh, we have a bad downside and a benefit. We get the Elimination. Removing cards at shops can be done any number of times. Which is fair to point out that this will be the cost of each elimination will still uh, go up, but you can in theory do it forever if you have enough money. And then first impressions receive a random relationship each time you meet someone for the first time, which is just a fun thing, fairly balanced. Giant mechs is uh, all mechs are bigger, have more health, and do more damage. This one's very very uh, dangerous, and I've lost runs to this twice I think in my career, so watch out for that one. Then we have Havarian Mulligan in Battle and Negotiation. So I have two sets of car uh, five cards each for your starting battle deck and then for the negotiation deck as well. Juggernaut is all fighters gain one power at the end of their turn. This includes uh, ourselves and our allies and the enemies. This is a really really dangerous one because I usually go for long long game like defensive builds and that makes it really really hard when everyone just keep ramping up in power all the time. Um, pretty dangerous one, also because the enemies do a lot of like chain attacks. I suppose we do too. So it works on both sides. It's definitely an interesting one. It makes battles shorter. Loyalty is hired allies no longer leave your party. And this is a huge benefit for the player, obviously. Now we, we, we buy so a, a higher an ally, keep them forever. And when you go do a brawl, which we are gonna do, then they stick around forever if you convince them to help you in a boss fight, which you do for free anyway. So this is pretty cool. Starved is battle and negotiation can no longer offer card rewards. So we have to get our cards through other means, but we do start with a special uh, draft build, of course. And two box, draft two items, uh, cards at the start of the game, and they have an additional charge. So that is the Mutator Madness is set up. Then I have selected three perks that I think will go well along with it. We have the Researcher, which gains us shields every time you use an item card with a charge. We are gonna have most of our cards are gonna be item cards because we can't get cards for free anymore, right? And so uh, item cards will fill up a lot. And I also picked the Handy, which gives us all the items in additional use to combo with that giving us more money and more uses out of those cards, and also the two cards that we draft at the start of the run will be a benefit of both of these perks, and then I have a good health 3, which gains us 12 maximum health. And that's my way to balance it out. We'll run with this standard Rook, Rook outfit, and we are running at Prestige 6 yet still, of course, I haven't beaten the game as Prestige 6 Rook yet, so it should be interesting. Uh, and anything else to know? Well, if anyone else has suggestions for mutators, I am more than open to for suggestions. Uh, all card sets are also active. It's also possible to mess around with these card sets. Uh, and yeah, give me your best ideas. I will implement them and make it a reality. 
for your entertainment. So now we are drafting the starting deck, which is going to be for battle first. What you do here is you see we have five cards, then we have two mulligans to remove some cards and try to bring them into some better ones. And then we do it again, and then we do it twice for negotiation as well. This is instead of our normal balanced uh, starting deck. So you gotta really think about your choices here. This is easy to get a messed up deck. And so, for example, Telegraph here is great if you can get Concentration, which we don't have a way to do. So then I would try, I think, I think it might be a bad idea. There's another thing that we could do. We could go for an empty build where we spend all charge, gain defense per charge spend, and then try to combo those two together. I don't usually like that, but it might work out here. Let's try it. Another empty card, good. And then one that spends one card, and then a decent... Ah, this one needs us to be fully charged, so I'm going to shuffle that one. And this one combos up with being empty, perfect. Draw two cards, empty, gain one charge, and this costs zero. So this is actually... Every card here is combos up of running low charge. That's kind of good. Then... Here's the concentration gain. Now we can't benefit off of it, of course. And... Nothing here is good for us. The mark will give us more charges. Crackle gives us charges. This one requires us to be fully charged. And the advantage is concentration, which... Um, it's not super good. It raises the minimum damage of cards. And these two cards here don't have minimum damage. So that doesn't really make sense. So you're out, you're out, you're out, and you're out. The pulse is kind of fine. I'll keep that one around. Gives enemies ricochet. Take cover obviously works out with our deck. Tight spot is a great defensive card. Quick fire again, spend one charge is fine. And then search boil if you have any overcharge attack twice, we will get rid of that. And gain three defense per enemy target. This actually works out really well. Alright, decent battle deck. And then we go into the negotiation deck. And in the negotiation, it's so hard to get defensive cards as a base, so. I don't know what we do here. We can make an influence deck here and a prepare. So that might be what we're doing. We're rigging snails and prepare a card. And if this one is prepared, we gain influence. And this one costs less per influence and then gambles. Yeah. I think that might be okay. Again, influence. So out with the drawback. And the slug storm is bad for us. Uh, but we can make it work of, of, of heads as well here, so it might work out. So far not so good. No defense gain. If you have influence, prepare a card is good. Discard your hand and draw five cards. Disregard is actually a decent card. Slugstorm, no. Trade, no. And Foul Mouth is kind of decent, as it helps you prepare cards. We already have two prepare. Yeah, I need more influence somehow. The disregard is just a good card. I will keep it. Spend one influence, and this this card becomes stronger. See, now now we're talking. We gotta get these two out, though. Even though this one, you know what? The, the twisted dig is actually really good. I'm gonna just discard the brand and the bluff. If we are on heads, this costs zero and then draws a card. Alright, that's actually pretty decent. The only thing is we only... Uh, didn't we get two? There's two cards here that gains me influence. I think this might work out, but again, there's no defense at all. Are you kidding me? Not a single defensive card. Yikes. So then we draft two... Um, words... We are drafting two item cards to start the run with. We can either gain this one here, which gives us the influence for zero. So that might fix the negotiation. But look at over here. Partial sandwich. Heal two health destroy after five years. Uh, that's all it does. That's not half bad. Hmm? And the Robone. Summon an Ultra Dog to fight for you for the rest of this battle. That's amazing. But I think I gotta help the negotiation out a little bit. So there you go, we gotta do it. Amnesiator. The next card played is played twice. Then destroy it. Then destroy it. Wow. 
for negotiations also. And a tripwire for battle is a stun card. Which is amazing. The initiator. I've never seen this one before. Next card is played. Next card played is played twice and destroy it. I don't think we would want to do that. Um, because running a thin negotiation deck, which we're already gonna do, is kind of dangerous against some enemy types, and it won't be super beneficial to us. I don't even really know. It may maybe be the slug storm, but the area damage from it is kind of fine. No, I won't grab that so we get the tripwire. All right, we still get some other small drafts at the start here, so we get a. Let's take the grafts first and then the starting draft. So, negotiation draft. Harlow's concept. At the start of each turn, improvise a random, uncommon or rare card. It costs one less but also expense. And this could be a way to get some defense. Critical expense. At the start of each turn, draw one extra card for each card in your hand at the end of the last turn. Never seen that one before. Interesting. And duplicate the first argument you would create each turn between the conquest. Oh, this works on influence. Uh huh. But we don't have any way to gain defense, which this would allow. So I think I gotta take it. And then Hebu hates me because we met him right here at the start. So we get a random uh, impression with him, and he immediately just goes for hate. Taint is supply, drinking adds an additional drunk card. Now that's pretty bad. That's the bartender here. We usually buy stuff from him, like food. So that's gonna make the run real tough, and we can't kill him, right? No, maybe, you know, surely I cannot kill him. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so for Battlecraft though, that we get the Veteran's Wire. Whenever you add a card to your deck, it is immediately upgraded, chosen randomly. No, no, no. Torrid Clone. The first card you play each turn is played twice in battle. Okay. And Merged Glass. Defense is half instead of removed at the start of your turn. Oh. See, no, I don't... This I don't think is good. Well... Yes and no, but... The Rook gains free defense every turn anyway from his running low uh, charges especially. So we would always have a little bit carrying over, except the enemies will be doing way more damage in this run because of the power increase and so we would have less defense overall at the end of turns. But on the other hand, that also means we need more defense. The merge class is really good. On the other hand, the Tory Clone can also get the defense, and, and this can also help you kill people faster. I think we should take the Tory Clone. That's a tough choice, these are both really good. Alright, so then starting draft, we get first a battle card, one of three options. There's nothing here that I want. Maybe we get the duck out. Such a tricky card. You get t a lot of defense for cheap, but then next turn you get wide open where you cannot gain any defense. And then you can upgrade it into getting you exposed instead, which is halved defense for the next turn. It can be a good panic button. I think I'll grab it. I am not sure about that pick. Or we can get a scanner, seer, and sucker punch, empty, apply one in pair. Uh, battle deck. See, we already have two exhaustions as well, and two mental blocks for adding grafts, by the way, so that's also pretty rough. Uh, another empty card might be fine, but it's also tricky or risky. Scanner would be a great addition, I think. It's always fantastic. Let's get the scanner. And then for the negotiation card. Oh, the head turner is amazing. It's a prayer prayer that becomes free. What graft did we get again? Start to reprise a random, uncommon, or rare card. Now I'll get the hit turner, as it can be for zero actions, which is great. And the jargon. Okay, see now we're talking. This this can give us some 
ongoing composure. I'm hoping we can make this work. Agency is also good, but I gotta get this one. Exit. Get out of here. So, how does that work? Now he takes 100% surcharge on everything, so we cannot buy the brain deals, which I'm sure I wouldn't do anyway. But we have the reduced XP cost. But still, that's pretty damn rough. I don't think we can afford to buy anything usually at the start, so we just go venture forth. It's a battle and negotiation. Try to look scary. Alright. I'm not afraid of you. I have backup, so we gotta scare off his protectors. Fair enough. And we choose a card at the start of the turn. Strategy. Whenever you prepare a card, deal 2 damage to a random enemy augment expend. Interesting. And it will cost 1 less, I think. Right, we could do the headbang for relatively cheap. I forget how we do with... We can rig, but can we gamble at all? Yeah, here. And there. Uh, mm -mm -mm. I think we'll do the hit. Hey, wait. So we are gonna expend that um, item to get influence in this first battle, I think. We need to carry us through the first fight, negotiation, and then this one will become entirely free. Right? I hope I'm right about that. We didn't get it in this turn, but we can always shuffle it in. No no influence gain and no way to prepare cards, so we might play the disregard here. The pressure isn't also isn't good without the influence up. Uh bad first turn. Um let's so hit all enemy arguments if it works. Why is this maximum damage? Oh, because it's on hits, okay. That's decent. Four damage for one action. I'll take that. Put this one up here. Disregard. Wow, we are not lucky. We have influence prepare a card. Here's we can gain one influence. So let's set that up. And then we can get more influence here. I'll get it. And we gained 10 shields for that. He says he's not convinced. So we can gain a pale stack deck. So we can prepare a card at the turn. Alright. This card gains one damage every time you gamble. And then we can get the force. I'm gonna get the pale stack deck, obviously, here. Very, very good. And then weight is now free. This one here, we don't need the propaganda. I'm gonna take. We gotta, we gotta take this one out first, I think. And then we will hit this one over here. Praise. I should uh, bluff. Yeah. Then praise here. Then dig on the main argument for now. Meta activates the jargon, and we did get one composure out of that. Great. Rig two, then prepare a card. All right. That's fine. We got one composure out of it. It's gonna be better later. Gain one momentum. Whenever you discard a card, roll a card. Gains restore per stack. Now, boosted compromise. Spend up to two influence. Increase the resolve of your influence by two per influence spend. Or, tall snail bite. This card gains one damage every time you gamble and get snails. I'll take the boosted compromise. It's free anyway. And then make our influence a bit more tanky. Choose a card to prepare. This one here, of course, so it's free. 
Alright, good turn coming in here though, I think. And indeed they are attacking the influence, so if I hit it with this one, it goes up to 7 total influence uh, resolve, which means that it's gonna tank that entire hit. Good. And I think we have lethal, but I might not want to take it. Just get a little more XP here. Uh, this would do deal a total of six damage. Let me play the slug storm first and see if we get it. We did not. All right. Good enough. If I destroy this one over here, he gains impatience and then does more damage. So that's why I hold off. While this is in your hand, apply one composure to all your arguments whenever you prepare a card. Enhanced helmet, and it's just while it's in your hand, alright, and we can have it again. Oh, this is where it's simple to a random argument, and this is to all arguments. And then pale, reckless insult spends all dominance. I'm gonna get the one that uh, is to all uh, your arguments. And then we do prepare a card here, so we can put the jargon in. And now we're gain gaining a lot of Well, not a lot, but some. Composure. Good. Uh, decency, and then Pale Rate becomes free anyway. If you have influence, prepare a card over here, which then has with the Enhanced Helmet. So hit this one there. Got to prepare, we'll prepare the pale weight. And if I, I I gotta go for lethal, otherwise we are about to take damage. Well no we're not. Hold on. I might not want to then. I'll just hit him. We won't take damage and then next turn we can gain a little bit more XP before we finish the fight. I think most of our stuff levels up already though. Oh and the head turnout is the finisher if we need it. Choose a card to prepare. Good. We can gain XP on the dig here. We can gain XP on clear head. Prepare a card, alright. And then the head turner here. Pretty decent for the first negotiation. We could take what six uh, Resolve damage, but the jargon levels up, and I would do want it to apply composure to all arguments every time you play a card and it's prepared. So nice. Wait, where are you going? Bend yourself. All right, it's payback time, Rook. He says, "Sure." What is this here? Jump and all. All fighters gain one power at the start of their turn. At the end of their turn. All right. All right, all right, all right. We have the tight spot, which is going to burn out if I don't play it. So it is going to be played, and it, I shouldn't play it first because it gets played twice then. Fair enough. And if I play the release valve, this one becomes free. So we have an empty card here. You gotta, you gotta really time that, and you gotta think that he, the first card is played twice. But he's not attacking, so I can do the offensive stuff, which is double quick fire. And now we don't have enough charges for the second quick fire, but that's fine. Sucker punch. And here we might just want to go some for some defense. He's getting wrecked pretty quickly here. Just gain a little bit of XP here. All right. Again, he's not attacking. You know, leveling the tight spot might be a good idea anyway. I'm not gonna play it first. We can. I'll play the pulse twice. And then we quick fire once, I guess. It has a chance of finishing. No, it doesn't. Okay, good. Then lifeline. Now he's down to two. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna do another 
defensive round then and just play take cover again. Oh, the Tide Spot's gonna burn out. Whoops. Okay, so let's hope we have enough damage to take him down. We did not, but then we have the dugout, which is then gonna be just fine. That's a lot of defense, by the way. But now we can't get... Oh, and I got two wide open for playing it in the first, of the, uh, first card in the round. Jesus. Alright, but we have the evil here, so we're just gonna finish him. Um, gonna get some XP on other stuff first, obviously, so take cover levels up. And we'll play the lifeline. And then finish him off with a quick fire. Good stuff. And are we supposed to execute him? No, not necessarily. Just... Deal with him. Oh, we get the gorilla tactic with a stun. I'm gonna go for it. What is your opinion towards me? You know? No, the stun is too good. When you murder a member of the Rise, lose two max soul. Oh. Slander. Uh, oh, I forgot. I gotta go and meet people in the bar because I get a random relationship with them. I completely forgot about that thing. It might not be. It might be a fine thing to not do it. In fact, uh, then gain one charge over here. I don't think I want that. I just take the counter over there. Words or plays, you always make your point. Get paid. But now I do think I want to go and meet people in the bar. Don't get used to it. So he's still helping out, even though he hates me. Increase max resolve or remove a battle card. A battle card. I don't think got anything in here that I really hate. Oh, no, that's not true. We have exhaustion. I could get rid of exhaustion from that. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. Good stuff. Let me go and meet people here. Water is indifferent. Alright. Yes, so sir. Tillamer is indifferent. Kyrgyzian dislikes you. And drop it. Likes you. Alright, so we could make him my friend by getting the... by a 150 shields propaganda machine. Start each negotiation with one influence. Oh, see, that is really, really good. For us. Mm -hmm -hmm. Tough call. I think I'll have enough money and this is going to make my negotiations much better. So I'll take it. And then he also loves me, so I could hire him for cheaper, but we can't afford it right now. That's fine. We made our first lover. Let's go on a rescue mission. We can squeeze that into this episode, the first one. You find Obel's captors. You're not getting away from us, Obel. Obel? Okay, Wandra is indifferent to me. If we do this, he's gonna dislike me or she. Or we can attack and kill. Hmm. I think I want to attack. We have a good ally there. Yeah. And we are weak in negotiation, so I don't want to overextend. We don't get new cards anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we will go for oh, double the first one. Yes, yeah, so we'll double quick fire. It's going to be a quick battle, I feel. So let's just go with some defensive stuff here. And she's attacking my ally, so that's fine. Apply defense to him, sure. And dugout. Oh no, don't do the dugout, okay. Let me just apply ricochet. Pistol whip. And he hits so hard, this guy. And he was at 3 stars, she was at 2 star. Yes, he's already wrecking her for us. Alright, I'll double scanner to get the XP on it. Challenger. And a sucker punch. Good stuff. And unfortunately he doesn't kill her. So we will have to make that decision. Another stun card. I don't think I can say no. We also get money out of it. And we use it. And Telmer now hates me. Sketchy equipment. Take one damage whenever you use an item. Okay. Not a big deal. Shock core. Tight spot here. Oh, levels up into 
Oh, you can remove the burnout, but I like it, it's fine. And then 12 defense is amazing, especially if we double it. Thanks, bro. You get paid 100 shields. Great. So now we can kill Kilka here. She hates me, but let me go and meet some more people. Clem is indifferent. Hatred Genna dislikes me. And Quail dislikes me. Okay, we've been pretty unlucky with that. Uh, still can't afford to hire anyone. That's fine. So in the next episode, we will start off by murdering uh, Kilka here, who has decided to hate me. But for now, we will end this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're going to enjoy this Mutator Madness run. See you in the next one, and bye-bye.